answer one of Teddy's follow-ups first, because I know he's going to ask this, and it's what, what kept you off from making this like a client play. And there's really two things. One, the number I would have probably liked to get, get closer to a pick. Of course, this open minus one and a half Colorado State kind of quickly bet up to two and a half. It hit as high as three. I think you could probably get two and a half out there right now. Uh, and, you know, but still, that's a key number, right? Like we're talking, especially you get to March, you get to these like like do or die games. Two and a half, three is a key number. You really have to kind of like, you know, decide if that's something that you want to lay. And, and I ultimately decided in a potential low possession game where the total is 120 that, that I didn't really want to lay two and a half. Now, the other thing is the fact that Virginia's in the shouldn't be in narrative, right? And it's like, you know, every year we get a team like this who gets into the tournament and it all – all the talking heads say they shouldn't be in. The people that didn't watch college basketball for five months then piggyback and decide they yeah. shouldn't be in. And that team always wins, Press Somehow, Pitt, last year, the, uh, it was Pitt. And, and not only did they win this game, they ended up in the Sweet 16. So those were kind of the two things that concerned me. Like, Because there's no greater motivator for a team than having to listen to the, the national media for two days uh, say that you shouldn't be in you know, the tournament. But as far as the matchup's concerned, it tilts me toward Colorado State. I think you're going to see, you know, you've got a total here of 120 and a half, which I think knee jerk. A lot of people are going to be like, man, that's that seems low. That's really low. And the reality is it probably should be that low because, you know, these two teams, are they're both going to run the shot clock almost to zero. Um, you know, they, they average the longest possessions of any team in the country. So you're, you're probably going to get a low scoring game that you need a, a high efficiency to go over 20 and a half. And, you know, I guess in that type of game, I go back to something that I said, you know, maybe a couple months ago that I, that I still truly believe that it was after I, I got home from Colorado state, got to see a game there. I, I still think Isaiah Stevens is, is one of the best players at his position in the whole country, especially that I've got to see in person this year. And I didn't get to see every team in person, uh, but I, I saw probably 60, 65 different teams, maybe 60 different teams at all levels. And I still like Isaiah Stevens' ability to score like an ISO basket when his team needs it more than anyone on, on the UVA roster. And I think with two teams, with two brilliant coaches, I love Tony Bennett, I love Nico Medved, I think they're both going to have you know really good game plans, but I think both are going to be very methodical. It's going to be late shot clock situations. The guy I'd rather have my money on in that scenario is Isaiah Stevens. There's no question about it. So, you know, Virginia, like the offensive execution has been poor at times this year. I, I mean, they're going to kind of have to defend their way to a win. I'm not saying they can't, but I think in a game like this, neutral court, bright lights, NCAA tournament, I kind of want the guy that can can hit the big shot. I think that guy is Stevens, 16.8 points per game, led Colorado State in scoring this year. And so for that reason, I lean toward Colorado State in this game. So I want to ask you about the Mountain West Conference because the Mountain West Conference, they got six bids. There's been a lot of talk. The Big East only got three. How good is this conference? And is this conference going to be a bet on conference in this tournament or a bet against? There's been a lot of talk that the Mountain West was underseeded compared to what their net rankings were and what the Ken Palm rankings were and the like. How do you feel about this conference as a whole? Is Colorado State one of a number of bet on teams for you out of the Mountain West? Or are we looking in general to be fading some of these teams as opposed to backing them? Teddy, I don't like to like blanket the whole conference. I really want to take it like case by case, but I do think collectively the Mountain West played the game really well this year where they scheduled the, the conference seemed to schedule well non-conference. They won a lot of those games. So you had, you know, you came into Mountain West play with teams like Utah State, New Mexico, Colorado State. They were all like 13 and one, Nevada. 14 and 0, I think at one point. So, and then they beat up on each other. It's a really tough conference to travel in and win. So you had a lot of these teams go and, and sort of get big wins. You had San Diego state coming in off of a, a national title appearance last year. So they were highly rated. So I, I really think that the conference sort of played the game well, right? Like they had good November and December, then they played each other. So instead of like their rating dipping, it just kept boosting the, the rating of, of these top sort of six teams because they kept getting, you know, they managed to, to do enough on their home floor and then they lose to the other good team. I don't really know if I want to approach this as a, oh, I'm just going to fade Mountain West teams. I'm going to back them. But I do think 
that maybe the, the profile of the conference is like a little bit inflated. I kind of made the point when I talked about this with Drew Martin on the college basketball show yesterday. I, I still think I'd take the top seven from the ACC over the top seven from the, the Mountain West. Now, I'm contradicting myself a little bit because this is ACC versus Mountain West, and I lean toward Colorado State. But, Teddy, that's kind of another thing maybe keeping me off of, of making this a client play. Um, I do think the matchup favors Colorado State here, and I think Stevens is the key. But yeah, there's a little of there's a little of me that doesn't really want to jump in with these Mountain West teams, and it's probably why that this is going to remain in the lean category for me. 